Number 16, write the mathematical expression for the reaction quotient, which is QC for each of the following reactions. And then we have this reaction right here. So we have to find the QC for 4NH3 gas plus 5O2 gas, which will come to equilibrium with 4NO gas plus 6H2O gas. Okay, so the QC formula is a very generalized formula, which I put right here. So I'll just put it over here. Now, the C in the QC stands for concentration values, aka molarity values. So when we actually do the math, we'll put molarity values into this formula. But for standard notation, molarity or concentration is uh, using this bracket system. Okay, and the QC is just basically your products divided by your reactants. And both of these have to be raised to the coefficients. COEF is coefficients, aka the big numbers in the balanced equation. Now, we gotta play by the rules. There's only two states that are allowed in a QC formula, either aqueous or gases. No solids, so no S's, and no liquids, no L's. So the first thing is, is I would just play the state game. Look at those states. I got a gas, I got a gas, I got a gas, and I got a gas. Since gases are allowed, I'm going to have to use all of these compounds or molecules in my formula. So I'm just going to give them a check. Check for this one, check for this one, check and check. Now I'm ready to write my QC formula. So I'm just going to write the division sign already. And let's work from top to bottom. So let's do products first. Products is this side, right? Okay, let's work from left to right. Doesn't matter which one you state first, but let's go with NO, right? Here's my first compound. I gotta put it in brackets. Call out what the product is, it's NO. You don't have to write the states anymore. So I'll close the bracket. And now I just have to raise it to the coefficient. There was four NOs. So I have to raise it to the fourth. Now I move on to the next one because this is allowed. So bracket, and just know guys, that it's multiplied by the, um, the concentrations, right? Even though this is a plus sign in the balanced equation, it's not this plus this. They're multiplied by each other. So you could either put the multiplication or you can just put the next bracket next door. So I got H2O, close the bracket, and now I just got to raise it to the coefficient. There was six of them. So I got to put a six. Okay. Oop. Product done. Now let's do the two reactants. So working from left to right, I'm going to put brackets. NH3. Close that bracket. And now what was the coefficient? Oh, there was four NH3s. So I have to put a four in the top. And then just like before, it's multiplication. So put a new bracket. The next molecule is O2. I'm gonna put O2, close the bracket. Coefficient, yeah, there was a five here. So I have to raise it to the fifth. And now we are done. So here's the QC formula. We will see how we actually plug in numbers here when, you know, later down in the chapter. But for right now, we're just learning how to write the exact formula for the reaction that's given. Hopefully this makes sense. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. And tell your friends, tell your classmates. Maybe they might benefit from, you know, using this channel. We have physics videos and math videos at the moment, so go check it out, all right? Thank you so much for coming here, and I'll see you later. All right, have a great day. Bye.